Decorating is an intuitive process and a complex art form due to a myriad of elements and details that must communicate with each other in harmony. Hi, I am Valentina Cirasola and uh, welcome to my new episode of Create Beauty Every Day. You know, not everyone studies decorating style, fashion, or colors. Some people are just uh, born with a sense of beauty. Some other must study to understand how things work together in harmony. I used to know a lady that uh, who lived in um, in a beautiful home. <clears throat> she did not enlist the uh, um, help of a designer. She decorated this beautiful home all by herself. And she had two things in her favor. She had the natural uh, ability to see beauty everywhere and uh, her high social status. She was very wealthy and of course money was not an object for her. She could buy anything she saw and uh, anything that came to her eyes. Um, as I said, she did not enlist the help of a designer. Having that ability, she did everything by herself. And in fact, she was so proud of what she had done in her home and how much originality she had put in her home that when she had large parties, she uh, uh, hired uh, guide tours, uh, oh, excuse me, tour guides, pardon. She hired uh, gu tour guides to visit her home every hour. That's how beautiful that home was. It was truly uh, an astounding piece of architecture. The experience was great at that one time I I had it. I had that uh, uh, guided tour with a, with a guide. It was great. I had never seen anything like it before. It wasn't an open house. It was just a regular party where she took pride of her home and wanted to show it off to her guest. So I'm sure she used a lot of hours in research, researching all the beautiful items and um, the, the attention to detail was astounding. So it's, um, as I said, I've never seen anything like that. And um, in, she instilled by doing, by taking the tour guided, the, the tour guided by the guide, she um, instilled this beauty in her guests that who did not have the same beauty in their eyes. And I'm sure she instilled other things too, like jealousy and envy. I'm sure of that. <clears throat> but you know, as I said many times, uh, the home lives with us and changes with us. It changes with every possible um, needs that we could have and every possible uh, changes that our lives might have. So just like nature, change season, showing a new uh, beauty with gentleness and the praise of um, of slowness, the nature doesn't come abruptly. It changes season very calmly, very quietly, 
but it shows the beauty of the flower uh, blooming and uh, the new food for the animals and and it shows the beauty of itself in very very slowly and the same thing could be in people's home you change the beauty of your home according to the needs that you have a certain time during your life now this is a time that we need to show our gentleness with ourselves because we are living in awful horrible times with people in power who detest beauty and want to reduce us into submissions those people don't know what harmony is, is. they don't know what love is they only understand that they can apply force to the people and um, and make our lives as ugly as possible just look at the way they appear on TV first of all they're not dressed worth a damn second they have a mad look in their face they look mean they look out of balance when they speak in public in television in the forums they appear they look always like uh, they're they're out to get you they have that kind of ugliness in their face they want to take us deeper into their ugly world where there is no harmony where there is no love where there is no substance but we don't worry about that they're not going to succeed they are not because people will fight their ugliness with beauty and that's the only way we will win we are the light that will change our future we can start creating beauty in our homes and beautify ourselves with clothes, colors, new accessories every day. Even if we're going to grocery shop, we're not going to let this ugly stuff that comes around at us every day that has been thrown at us. We're not going to let it happen. So we can start adding uh, we can start being more attentive to how we project ourselves to others how we talk to others we can start putting attention to our manners and our poise and 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 figure it out how other people see us and change whatever it doesn't work are in us and um, we can also pay attention to what we say in the morning when we get up if we say if we let all these ugliness that is around us at this time and we let it bother us and we say oh no another day of course everything is going to go wrong and everything will take a negative connotation but if we say, oh yes, I'm alive, I'm here again, and this is another presence I received today, thank you, everything will be positive, everything will be beautiful. And because beauty attracts beauty, you call it, we are a, um, a magnet. If you call it, it will come. So beauty will beautify your days if you call it okay you just said oh yes this is a beautiful day I'm alive I'm here again and thank you even if there is no Sun thank you for the clouds thank you for the storm whatever you condition of weather condition you have it's a present and so if we bring that beauty into our life we call it we will feel positive and beautiful 
You know, I have many mentors and I respect them all. One that is really on a high tone is um, a um, um, alchemist. He is Michele Giovagnoli. One day he said, if beauty crossed time, it is because beauty, in beauty, there is a great ability to conquer. Now listen to this. If beauty has crossed time, it is because in beauty there is a great ability to conquer. You know that beauty is under the influence of Venus. Venus is the planet of beauty. And Venus fights and conquers Mars and wins it. It wins over Mars because beauty is disarming and it disarms the ugliness. Always, always, always. And it's not just in astrology. We know in history that all wars stopped because people were tired of ugliness. Ugliness doesn't last long time because it chews itself and dies out by destroying itself. Ugliness doesn't last, but beauty does. Look at all the monuments and artwork we have in the cities of Italy. Italy is an open museum. Everywhere you go, you see beauty. I was born in beauty. I cannot talk bad about beauty because I lived it. I've experienced it. I was born under that um, beautiful, be under the beautiful views. I used to open the windows in the morning and see um, antique capitals and um, antique buildings and beautiful architectures and people went through that beauty every day going from pillar to post from one store to another they live they live in beauty and that's the way I live and that's why I'm so adamant about beauty because regardless of all the wars that the world has had they all died because people were tired of ugliness and they needed to bring beauty and love into, into their heart so <clears throat> as um it's just just like nature does it okay nature stops for instance um when change, the season change, right? When the season change, they come slowly, they come gentle, and we go from winter to spring, and the spring opens up all the flowers and gives food to the animals, and um, it regenerates itself. It's a new beauty that we appreciate because it opens our heart spring is just gentle and um, it just makes us feel we are part of that world. Our homes is just the same. Our home opens up to our needs every time we have changes. So start today, start today. Look at your wardrobe for instance because you we were born to be protagonists of our lives, to be the main actors of our lives. We were not born to live in submission. So when you get up in the morning and say, thank you, I'm alive, I'm here again, you also should look at your wardrobe. I shouldn't say should, but you must look at your wardrobe. Get rid of all the ugly stuff, the stuff you don't want anymore, get rid of it, do something, and put in your wardrobe only the beautiful stuff that is going to beautify your body. Only use beautiful things that are going to beautify your body, first of all. 
and replace, replace with beauty. Then do the same with your home. Add beauty and gentility where is needed. And uh, you will see the changes with the new season as nature brings a variety of new flowers, as I said, and food for the animals, new food for the animals. Your home changes and changes with your need. And uh, as it is um, often overlooked, you know, it's, it, it's easy once you, even if you don't have the need to change, make some changes. Make some changes. So the new year is coming. Changes are due because the new year, everything's supposed to be new or regenerated. And, um, you know, um, changes are always welcome. No matter what you do, changes are welcome because it brings new vibrations in life. And a new vibration makes a new life. It makes a new you. It makes um, a new spirit. And um, you might discover that there are things in life that you have not had or done and you might get to do them just because you add beauty to your life. Anyway, this is a very short message for today. Uh, I will, uh, will be back before Christmas. I can't believe it's already Christmas. So I will be back for some chat and some salutation next week. And uh, then I will stay off online off the internet for a detox because that's what I do. That's my way of adding beauty to my to my life. I detox from the internet every so often. I do it often during the year. So until next Thursday or before I thank you for being here. Thank you for listening and uh, as usual, peace and love to everyone. Bye.